Um, first off, when each of you arrived, who did you think was going to be like the biggest threat in the competition or maybe the person that you wanted to have as a partner or someone you wanted to be on your side or even like a possible fling? It seemed that Chase and Vinny were really popular amongst the female contestants. Yeah. Um, yeah, I either wanted Vinny or Chase. Um, to be my partner because I just felt like they were going to be like really like good at competition. And I was like, yeah, I need some muscle in my life because I didn't want to pair up with another girl. I'm like, I can do a little bit of like muscle, but I need a guy in my life. I need to flirt maybe a little. No. Oh, come on, Tamara. You obviously have <laughs> your eyes all over me. <laughs> of course, Javi. I saw your beautiful long hair and you look like... <laughs> Like Tarzan. Johnny Depp and Parrot, uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And yeah, I, I was like, your, you, I mean, I, you'll see as the season goes on, you'll see how she starts to reveal her crush with me, you know, like it'll just come across naturally. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So, <laughs> um, so Vinny, of course, is from the OG Shore series. Um, what was your guys' first impression of him? Did he live up to his reputation as the MTV real reality show veteran, or was he a little different than what you expected? Um, um, I say this with all respect, but Vinny, I like every single second he would tell us about all the shows he's been on, um, which I thought was hilarious and, and like towards the end, I would like make fun of him. Like, so when I was on Dancing on the Stars and this, this and that, and I'm just like, Oh my God, Vinny, we get it. You've been in this industry for 15 plus years, but you know, hang it up a little bit, boy. Hang it up. Make some space well, for us. He was Come sweet. On. Yeah. I just kept molesting him throughout the whole season, to be honest. Yes. I think, Javi, you kind of molest. I mean, you did a lot of touching <laughs> and stuff and wanting to see a lot of people snakes, Javi. I just love, like, you know, boiling the pot and seeing what happens. That's my thing. And it makes for good television, so we it love it. It makes that. good TV, exactly. That's why that's why I was hired, you know, to annoy you. <laughs> so, was there anyone out of the group who surprised you or was different than who you expected they would be? Oh uh, yeah, no, there were quite a few of those. I think, I mean, you know, at the beginning it's all like sweet because the competition is not that serious or intense at the beginning, so everyone's being sweet to each other. I mean, obviously, there's a few people who weren't sweet to each other since the beginning, but. As the season goes on, you start to like, you know, understand how conniving people can be and like how everyone's just there for their own interests. So I think, I don't know, I think everyone in their own way will surprise you, you know, at one point or the other, for sure, including myself. <laughs> I would say that it is an emotional roller coaster what's going to happen on this season. Um, you just don't know what's going to happen next or who is going to be friends with who. Or, I mean, also, we got all these international stars and the, and the United States clashing together. So I do feel like there's a culture clash in the beginning. Until we Major really culture clash. Um, you know, there's some people that take this competition seriously. And there's some people that don't, and they still end up winning, which is absolutely crazy. But, uh, you know? You know, that's what's really funny, I think. That's what's I the funny part. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was, like, the funny part, because the people that actually really tried was, like, yeah. really and they getting failed any, anywhere. But Everybody if you was, it, Yeah. Man. That's the funniest part of the show. Like, I feel like if you try too hard, just things won't work out for you. And you start to see a lot, especially near the end, like, you know, a lot of people who put so much effort into it start collapsing. I mean, a um, lot of people have game plans that we think that's going to work through, but you just don't know what these challenges yeah. are. And you don't know how people are going to react and you don't know about their personalities because yeah. you haven't been with them on TV. Um, and you don't, you've maybe you've never seen their, their show before. So you really don't know how people are going to react. So I was, and that. it's not all about, it's also not all about the body. Like, it doesn't matter how strong you are, you know, like, it does matter a lot as well on like strategy and like mm -hmm. how good or like I mean not not all no, the games were about how fast or strong you were like it was it was a mix of everything so to be honest anyone could surprise you at any point. Um, that actually brings to my next question. Um, some people like you, um, Tamaris, um, have been on shows that at least require um a little bit of competition or strategy. 
mm-hmm. others like you, Javi, you know, I've only done a little more, I've done more traditional reality television. Do you guys think yeah. um, your experience on previous reality shows was gave you an advantage or a disadvantage at all for this show? Oh. Um. I, would, I would say for me, because I was a winner from my last show and like, kind of like I told people about it and, and that was probably my mistake in the beginning. I should have shut the f- up. They like, yeah, you should have. <laughs> there was already a target on my head. Like, oh no, she already won a show. So like, she doesn't yeah. need to win the show. And I'm just like, uh, excuse me, I want to fucking win. Um, I'm an F girl. I, I'm here to play. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, I think me for me at the beginning, it was like I was just there for the fun, and it, yeah. it was too early in the competition to like take it seriously. You know, I, I mean, like I didn't really even know what to expect. I mean, obviously, I did watch the first season, but I just didn't know what the games were gonna be like. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna have fun with it, and at the end of the you know, like at the end of the day, everyone's going to start like whoever tries too hard at the beginning is going to collapse straight away. So there's no point, you know, I think you just have to go with it. And it actually worked out for me for a while. I mean, you'll see, I can't tell you anything, but, yes. you know, it's funny because, for example, me, who I I just enjoy to party and like have a good time and make fun of people in drama. I mean, it did work out for me in some like, like at some points in the season, you're going to find it really funny how things turn around for me in a good way okay. and then in a bad way too but you never expected it from me you know like as you were like how is this guy even there at this point so oh. it was pretty it was pretty funny <laughs> watching want, their faces viewers. you can't give it all away don't give the goodies was, he, I feel no, like but he watching, like watching their it faces without spoiling anything <laughs> no 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 but watching their faces just like you know especially near the end you just see them like getting so angry and like Oh, it's so funny. It's oh, pure joy, pure joy. I cannot wait.